Hi everyone, this is Aya from Foyer Neo and today I'm going to be taking you through exporting a 2D floor plan both as a color image and as a 2D drawing. So to get started off, we're going to go through the simplest one which is actually exporting as a 2D image. So as we can see here, I do have a completed floor plan and what would generally happen in 2D mode is you can see some of the textures and colors throughout depending on what you've placed. And that would be rugs, that would be furniture, bedding, and everything else. Um, now, you can kind of dictate what shows with the 2D um, floor plan, and that can be edited by coming into file, settings, you can turn on default dimensions or off. Um, you can turn the room titles on or off, depending on what you'd like to show. So for this case, I'm just going to leave the room titles on. And then to export it as a 2D image, back into file. And then we're actually going to click on to download floor plan. And this will give us our floor plan as we were just looking at it. We can crop by just clicking and dragging this to really show only what we want to see. And then just simply click on download and you will automatically have your floor plan downloaded. The other way to export a 2D, a 2D floor plan is actually in the export 2D tab at the top right hand corner. So when we click on that, it will give us a drawing version of our floor plan, including all the furniture, all the measurements, the layout and everything that we have. Now, at the top, you do have these two options, which is the hide and the hide layer. If you do use the hide option, uh, you can see that everything is green and whatever you click on will be hidden and turned red. So I'm just going to do the rug and this sofa and then click on the hide tab and we can see how they are gone now. And if we come back into hide, we can just re-click on them to bring them back. You can go into hide layer to make it a little bit easier. From here, you can decide to hide all of the dimension labels and you can see how much clearer that just made this image. It obviously depends on how much dimensions you have going on throughout the space and how much walls and, and things you have going on. Um, if you do have a ruler, then you can also turn this on or off. You can also hide the room titles just like that. And you can also hide all furniture if you would like to do that. So you can have just the um, walls and the doors there. So I'm just going to leave the furniture in for this case for this example and then we'll continue so then we have on the left hand side we have the material tab and this can edit the wall material so you can either leave it as concrete wall you can change it into a brick wall or even a steel wall you then also have the elements tab which includes compasses lines and shapes that you can use and place wherever you'd like and resize to really emphasize things that you want to emphasize and kind of point towards things and show which way the north is, really things to make it so much simpler for whoever's going to be reading your floor plan. And the last option obviously is the text and this lets you text and write things and you can label in your own way throughout the entire floor plan. Once you are ready and good to go, you do have two ways of being able to export this floor plan and it's either by a DXF file or by clicking on to export now. If you click on to export now, it will take you next to this tab. And from here, we'll be able to kind of do a bit of things. So I'm just gonna wait for it to open up. Okay, great. So once we have it open, you can name what you want this to be named um, over here. So I've already called it apartment floor plan. You can adjust the paper size that you'd want it to be, like I can move it into an A2 or whatever paper size you want. Um, there is a very long list of options that you can go through and really pick which one works best for you, um, as we can see here. And then you can also change the scale size of the image. So you can see there really is quite a few options um, that you can change the scale of the floor plan to. Once you're good to go, you can decide if you want to leave it as a landscape, change it into a portrait, or if you don't mind the scale or the paper size, you can just simply click on fit to paper. And this will just, as it's called, fit the floor plan to the paper, not really considering um, any scale. So once that's done, um, 
You can then add company details and that will show over here. So you can add a company name, company logo and an email address. So you can see here and that will just give you all of those details and make it look really professional. Um, and then as you are done, you can simply click on to download and it will download this floor plan for you as a PDF. You can share it with whoever you are working with or wherever you need to send it to and it will give you a very professional final result. I hope that this tutorial was helpful today and happy designing.